welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you guys are back. Um, and with this new video, um, you can tell that I'm in a whole different location than I normally film. I'm in my car right now, and I wanted to bring you guys with me in a new journey that I'm going to be starting. Um, so as a lot of you guys know, quarantine is still going on. And some people, you know, lost their jobs. Um, I myself am not currently working. So I do have bills to, that still need to be paid, obviously. Um, so I was given the opportunity to do Instacart. Um, if you don't know what Instacart is, it's pretty much um, you are a shopper for somebody else. Um, and as much as, you know, some people may say like you're putting yourself at risk and other people at risks, I am taking the precaution. I do have my mask right here in my bag with me, gloves as well. Um, so I am taking the proper precautions um, to keep myself safe. Um, a lot of these people that are, you know, putting orders on Instacart are people who are at risk themselves. You know, they're elderlies. I know that I've done a lot of delivery to, um, you know, elderly families or even just family in general who have elderlies at home. And I'm, I'm happy that I'm a part of, you know, keeping them safe. Um, and like I said, I am keeping myself safe too. So I wanted to take you guys with me on a whole week of doing Instacart. And at the end of the week, um, I'm going to do it until Saturday. I'm going to show you guys exactly how much I made. So today is Monday. Um, I'm using my phone currently to record this. So I can't show you the date, but I promise you it is Monday today. Um, so I'm starting today. Come with me and let's have fun together with this new journey. I made this week like I told you I was going to um, before I get to the juicy part I wanted to give you guys some um, tips if you are going to start doing Instacart just so you guys can keep an eye out for these little things that I'm gonna tell you so first tip that I have for you guys is always look at the amount on the batches of how much they're paying you um, so once you know you apply and you get approved and everything is all set for you guys a bunch of batches are gonna start appearing from your area um, I'll show you guys some pictures of what I'm talking about so you guys can follow along so I'll show you know a bunch of a bunch of batches for you guys. Once you get one that you like, the amount that they're paying for it, you press right on there, and it will show you right on the bottom a list of things that the customer is looking for for you to buy for them. Um, but right before you see that, there also it also shows the miles that the person's house is from. You know, let's say CVS or something um, from wherever you're going to be shopping from. And um, I always look at that. I think it's very important because. I don't want to be wasting gas if, it, if it's going to be for like $10 or $15 or something when I have to drive like 15 miles. Like that's just ridiculous, you know. So I always tend to look at that, um, the miles, and I always try to drive under five miles um, because there's a lot of those that come up that they're very close to the store. So they're easy to do, you know, and they're quick and I'm not wasting too much gas or my time. Another thing that I suggest you to look at is... Um, the amount that Instacart will be paying you for that batch and the amount the customer is tipping you for that batch. So for example, let's use CVS again. Um, you have a batch that's for CVS and Instacart is going to be paying you $12 for that batch. But then, you know, the customer is tipping you $7. Um, you go, you take it and you do the batch. Um, the customer does have three days that they can switch the amount of the tip that they gave you. So that $7 can either go up, which that would be really nice, but it can also, they can lower it down to zero um, if they feel like it. So that's something that I suggest you to take a look at because um, many times it's sketchy when a batch comes up of being like, I don't know, $100 and trust me, they have some of those. Um, and then you look at the tip and the tip is like $50. The customer again they they do have the right three days after to go and switch the tip um, and they can put it to zero so 
just keep an eye out for that you know you can risk it and do it and maybe it's true I've heard stories that yeah it has worked that people hasn't switched the tip amount but then I've also heard stories of people switching their tip amount to zero and didn't get anything for that batch so my suggestion is to just always be smart about your choices um, another thing I suggest for you guys is looking if it's a house or an apartment so on the map it'll show you if it's a house that you're gonna be delivering to or if it's an apartment I tend to always pick houses because one they're easier to go ahead and deliver to um, it's easier for me to take things out of my car it's closer while apartments you know I will have to do back and forth runs and also it takes time to get houses instead of apartments so that's just my tip for you guys um, so those are the tips that I have um, if I remember any I'll make sure to put it down here for you guys um, but why don't we just get on to what you guys are all here for so pretty much this week I actually did pretty well um, so it, I'll show you the first picture shows right there for you guys that I made $469 um, on the cash out part that just means that if I want the money today um, I can get $324 um, but if I wait um, the deposit is every Monday they take it out of the app and then on Tuesday or Wednesday or so it'll be on my bank account so um, I'll just wait obviously for the $469 to go into my account um, and then if I press on you know this current week it also shows me how much active time that I and I did on this whole entire week so 28 hours and 29 minutes that is a lot um, of time but honestly it was like four to three batches a day and each batch takes you about an hour to do until you deliver and, and all of that so um, you know that's what it comes out to be 28 hours and 29 minutes and it'll show you know show right there for you guys each day I'm just looking down here because I have the picture of it too so right there it shows you know, Monday I made $90 Tuesday $76 Wednesday $54 Thursday 77 Friday 35 and then Saturday um, obviously was the great day of 134 so um, that's how much I made this week. I mean, it, it was a really good week. I know that sometimes I, I've done better, but it just, again, it all depends. You know, people putting batches out there, um, the amount of the batches, and how quick you are. You have to be quick for these things because once someone puts out a really good batch with a good amount, people grab it like that. So always, you know, keep an eye out for it. Um, my notification is on for the app all the time and my phone's always on like vibrating because of all the notifications I get but it's good for me to keep an eye out and if any good batches pop up I go and I take it instantly like that um, so yeah so that's you know what I made this week I'm really happy with it um, it's a nice little income for myself um, I have some bills that I have to pay this week so definitely that's gonna go for that um, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys liked it. I did have fun doing it. Um, also, I'll leave on my description a link if you guys are interested um, to do Instacart. And that way you guys can sign up and all of that. And, and we can all do this together. And you guys can let me know how you guys are doing. Um, I am going to plan on doing more Instacart videos for you guys. So that way you guys can always know, you know how I'm doing with Instacart. Um, if I have any other tips that I want to tell you guys about Instacart, I'll make sure to go ahead and make a video for that. Um, but other than that, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this type of video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let me know different videos you guys want me to do. Uh, now go ahead and do them. All right, guys. So thank you so much again. Always remember you guys are amazing. You guys are great, beautiful people. Even with this quarantine, you know, I know we're all with our pajamas on all day. Don't fix our hair. Don't put makeup on. But you guys are beautiful in your own ways. And God made you this way. So be thankful for the day you guys have. Be thankful for this time you have with your family. I know it's hard, but we will get through this together all right we are a community and we'll get through this thank you guys so much have a good one thank you for tuning in bye